All right, we got our floor plan all laid out from this design right here. Now we are gonna start laying out our interior walls. Again, our measurements we know are from exterior of exterior walls framing to middle of interior framing. So we are just gonna lay lines out pretty much at this area here. So our first one that we're gonna lay out is this 14 foot six from either side. So I'm gonna come on here, use a select tool to double click and edit this floor group. If you don't have it already edited, and we're going to use the move tool. Now the move tool seems a little bit odd. It seems like maybe I'd want to use this offset tool. But it's not the case because I just want to move one line at a time. So I'm going to grab this line here and I'm going to slide it. Now when I start sliding it, you'll see it goes all over the place. If I tap the control key, now I am moving it. And again, I can move it anywhere. I have to tell it which direction to move. So right there, if I hit the up key, it's gonna go up. If I hit the right key, it's gonna to move to the right. And if I hit the left key, it's gonna move in the Y. So I wanna move it in the Y, so I hit the left arrow key. And it was 14.6, 14, 14 feet. So 14 apostrophe, six inches, enter. And now I have this wall center line laid out. I'm gonna go to my next longest wall. I look over here, this one's pretty long. Oh wait, they're not lined up. This one here is lined up. So here is my next wall center line, 13 feet four inches from the left side. So again, I'm gonna go move, it's moving all funky, tap the control key, hit the right arrow key to get it so it goes on this axis. And we said 13 feet, four inches, 13 apostrophe four, and you don't even have to type the quotation mark. 13 feet, four, enter. Now I just want this line to line up with this line. So I'm gonna tap the control key get it going down that axis, and I'm just gonna touch this line. And now I have this wall and this wall set up. Next wall to figure out is my little bathroom wall here. If I look here, this isn't quite lined up, which is not the best, but we're gonna figure, we're gonna try to make that line up, force that to line up. Because if I look here, I should be able to fit a vanity and a tub in, and a vanity and a tub in. So I should be able to make that line up. We're gonna fudge that a little bit. So five foot four from the edge. I'm gonna come here, tap the control key, tap the right arrow, five foot four inches. Enter. Now I got that line. This wall I don't have a dimension on. This wall I don't have a dimension on, and this wall I don't have a dimension on. But we're gonna come back to that area in a little bit. The next longest wall I have information on is this one here. So from this wall right here, I gotta go 12 feet over to this wall right here. Control, arrow key, right arrow, 12 feet. And I'm over there. Now I'm here. Five foot four, I should be able to get to this wall. Or nine foot four coming back. It should be the same. Tap the control key. Five foot four. And I got that piece done. Five foot four. Now I'm going to come back here. Ten foot for this bedroom. Tap the control key, 10 feet, enter. And if you look, that doesn't line up quite, and right here it doesn't line up quite the same either, which is perfectly fine. Those two walls are fine if they're not lining up. This one here we're going to correct and make, fix that. But now we have all of the walls laid out at the correct dimensions. Next, we're going to start giving them thickness.